we have this uh, Pfizer late whose x-axis uh, encoder get damaged it was marking hardware uh, damaged so I had to replace the encoder and one of the challenges is to synchronize the encoder with the servo motors rotor so first thing you gotta do is you gotta unplug the power lines the U, V and W lines and plug in a resistor um, array in Y, you make a Y using resistors and you plug into U, V and W lines and then you grab, uh, here I'm grabbing the U and the V phases and I'm driving the servo motor with my cordless drill kind of a generator, synchronous uh, generator so I'm looking at the sinusoidal uh, signals coming from the servo motor driven as a generator trying to define which is the positive sense of rotation and once I define it that I'm going to enable the DAC1 output from the drive as a rotor mechanical position uh, in degrees and I want to use that trying to align the shaft of the motor with the shaft of the encoder this is the uh, uh, tweaking part so I'm using my coilless uh, drill to drive the motor as a generator to get the uh, U phase uh, sinusoidal signal and try to make the crossing through zero of the sinusoidal coincide with the uh, sawtooth signal coming from the encoder rotor position and you use the, I'm using a PICO's scope uh, use the scope uh, to uh, and using a threshold signal for the zero line crossing and this is what I have achieved the zero crossing of the two signals match and uh, once I done that I put power back into the servo motor see it's no longer attached to my cordless drill I'm driving uh, the x-axis servo motor with the Z1 channel because the Z1 channel has no uh, glass scale it's um, closed loop so um, it's easier so I just swap the lines on the drive the drive is a double drive driving X and Z so I'm using Z1 control loop to drive the, the uh, X1 encoder and here you can see I'm using Z1 as the uh, driving channel and the servo motor is uh, synchronized with the encoder it's working fine um, the next stage is to mount it back in its own channel uh, on the X channel and I'm gonna do a servo tuning here under startup servo and then you go into star uh, uh, servo tuning and then it's gonna do a me mechanical measuring part one then a mechanical measuring part two then the current measuring and every time you press NC start and once it's done you complete the boot file and then you save it to this NC controller